Yo, what's up guys, Paul James here, and today we're gonna be building out this website, which is a high converting lead generation website. All right guys, so if you're interested at all in generating leads, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button right now. Awesome, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and after you do that, comment below saying I've subscribed and I will reply back to you. I'm so excited that you're here and I can't wait to share this with you. All right guys, so as you know, I've been in the lead generation game for a long time. I've generated probably thousands of leads, and one thing that I know about it is that you have to have a high converting website so that your visitors actually convert into leads. Right, you can't just throw up some crappy design and then hope that someone's gonna turn into an actual customer. So if you're wanting to get into the lead generation business, it starts with the website, okay? It starts with a good converting design. So that's what we're gonna build out today on this video. Let's not delay, let's get into it. If you about the money, then what's the problem? All right guys, so today we're gonna be building out a high converting lead generation website so that your leads um, will convert better or your visitors will convert better into leads. I mean, right now you can see what we have here is just like one of these stock WordPress themes and it just looks like garbage. So we're gonna be swapping this out with a different theme. The theme I'm gonna be using today is a theme, um, it's, it's a shark lead gen theme. And I like the theme for a couple of different reasons. Number one is it's very, very affordable. Uh, you get a developer license for really, really cheap. I think it's under $30. I think it might be even under $20. Uh, so it's very, very cheap, which means you can use it on all of your sites. And then the other reason I like it is that there's no built, there's no third party plugins. Everything is built right into it. So once you install a theme, you get everything you need right there. You don't have to download anything else, which is cool. Um, and then thirdly, I like it because it converts good. So we're going to go into appearance. We're going to go into themes and we're going to start off by installing that theme. So we're going to hit add new and we're going to hit upload theme. I'm going to choose my file, which I've got right here and we're going to install it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and activate that. And then the theme also comes with a child theme, which I will install that as well. Child themes are if you need to make any like custom changes, and I'm not sure if I will need to or not, but I'm just gonna install it just in case. So I would recommend that you do the same. By the way, I'll leave a link below in the description to the theme that I'm using if you wanna check it out. Okay, good, so we've got uh, both themes installed, the uh, child theme and then the regular theme. So we actually want the regular theme, uh, the one that is active. It looks like there's a new version available. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that version first. Always good to do, make sure you have the latest version. Okay, we're updated, we're good to go. Um, next up is the theme comes with default content so that, let's refresh the site right now and just see where we're at. Okay, so the theme doesn't look right right now and that's because we need to set up a few settings. But first off, is we want to import default content, meaning demo content. So the way you do that is you come down to tools and you come down to import. And this is really cool. I love when WordPress uh, creators do this because it allows you to get the theme looking exactly how it looked when you purchased it, like the demo site that they showed you. So we're gonna select WordPress, we're gonna hit install now, and we're gonna hit run importer. All right, so we're gonna choose the demo content file that they provided to us. So they give you a folder that looks like this. So I'm literally just selecting this demo content file. I'm gonna hit upload file and import. And then I'm gonna choose the user. And we're gonna download and import file attachments and we're gonna hit submit. Okay, so the content is imported. Now we're gonna go and change the reading settings of the site so that the front page is this home page that we just imported because they already have it set up so that the home page is already there. So if we go now and we refresh our home page, it should look just like we want it to. Look, how great does that look, guys? I mean, right out of the box, that looks amazing. So literally, all we have to do now is go and edit this information so that it matches what we want it to match. Um, so why don't we just go into the theme and we'll just kind of run through some of this together. I'll go into um, the offline sharks theme settings and we're gonna click general settings. So we need to, uh, we need to add in a logo. Now, the cool part is they have a dark logo and a light logo. And you can see why, because the logo here you want to be lighter because it's on a darker background. And then when you scroll, it drops down this menu bar, which I think looks really cool. So you wanna put a dark version of the logo there as well. 
So we're gonna need a logo. Let's go and hop into Photoshop and create this. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, you could go to fiverr.com. You could get a logo done for five bucks. Very, very cheap. Uh, the other thing that you can do is you can use a site like Pixlr. They'll, you can get logos done there. Uh, it's like a web version of Photoshop. But I have Photoshop. It's like $10 a month. I think it's totally worth it. And I'm going to show you how I would create a logo um, by myself. All right. So they said that the file size is going to be 50 height. So let's just go 50 height. I don't really know what the width should be yet. Um, I'll set it to I'll set it to 250 and just kind of see what that looks like. Okay, that should be good, probably. All right, cool. So now I need to find an icon. So this site is a heating site, um, particularly, particularly a home heating site. So let me show you a little trick. I like to go to the site iconfinder.com to create quick logos. And you can type in the kind of icon you want. So I'm going to type in home. And I'm just going to search through here and see if there's any ones that look good. Okay, I see this logo right here. I kind of really like this one. So uh, this one is a paid one. It's only a dollar though, but there's free ones as well if you want to go with a free one. But I'm going to go with this paid one and I'm going to hit more and I'm basically just going to download the biggest size I can, which is 512. Okay, so we're going to drop this into Photoshop now and it looks a little pixelated right now. That's just because I'm zoomed in so far on it. Now if I zoom out, it won't look so pixelated. Okay, cool. So we're going to just call this uh, whatever the site is called. Okay, so there's our logo kind of in place there. We'll go with that. Um, I'm not gonna do anything fancy with it. I mean, you could, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm not. I'm gonna take out the background. This is gonna be my dark version, so I'm gonna save this as dark. And now I'm gonna make a light version of the logo, which is gonna be easy. We're just gonna change the color to white. And then for the house icon, we're going to choose a layer style, and we're gonna do color overlay and make that white as well. So let's save that as light. Okay, so there is a quick solution to a logo for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in a light logo here. Let's update that. Let's make sure it actually worked because I want to make sure that they didn't mean light background. <laughs> Just make sure I didn't mess that up. Okay, that looks awesome, right? Um, I mean, for just like a five minute thing, if that. Okay, now let's add in the dark logo. And then a footer logo. Um, let's see what color is the footer logo. Okay, so we'll probably just go with the dark one again there. Favicon, you can select one. That's the little icon that shows up on your tab. I'm not going to put one. I'll just leave it as is. And then there's these banners too. So we'll just kind of leave those for now. Uh, the copyright will change to 2017. Perfect. Let's update that. Let's take a look at what the site looks like now. If we refresh... Cool, cool. All right, I like it. And let's see the footer logo. Awesome. So, I mean, that was pretty quick. Um, that's awesome. Okay, contact settings. So, the contact settings are what's showing up basically at the bottom of the site down here, this get in touch. So, let's just um, let's throw something down here. Okay, so I've entered in all those details there. We're going to update it. We're going to refresh the site and just see what it looks like. Awesome, so that looks great. I didn't, however, insert my map API yet, so we'll have to do that later, but um, so far, so good. Uh, let's take a look at what's next. So we've got form settings, let's take a look at that. So the form settings are basically where uh, this form up here, what it's gonna say, and then where the lead is gonna go to. So let's go and fill that out. All right, so we're gonna say free estimate, get a quote on replacing your unit today, and we're gonna say get quote for the button text. All right, so let's update those settings. Let's refresh. Awesome, that looks good, looks clean, right? So how easy is that? Most themes you have to install like another plugin, like a Contact Form 7 plugin or something like that. This one's all just built in, so I really like that about the theme. Um, okay, let's go and go on to the next settings. Um, Let's go to pages and go to all pages and we're going to go to that home page that we imported. Here it is. Let's edit it. So check this out. Inside it has a built in editor, which is what I really like about it. So this is the banner section. This is the section that shows up up here. Let's start off by finding a picture that is going to be better suited for a heating company. 
So I'm gonna go to depositphotos.com and I'm gonna type in heating and air conditioning. And I'm gonna grab a stock photo here of some air conditioners. So let's just go ahead and grab that. And I'm gonna add that image here. Okay, next we're going to edit this title and this here. So I'm gonna say heating and cooling pros and let's refresh the page. Nice, and that quickly, we went, I'm actually gonna remove the pros part because I don't like how it jumps to the next line. So let's just make this heating and cooling, update that and refresh. So you, you kind of see that quickly, we took a site that wasn't niche specific and now we made it completely niche specific by changing the background. Okay, so you can see just how easy it is to, to do this stuff. Now, we have this testimonial section. If I don't want it, I can delete it. Maybe I want the testimonial section down further. I can just drag and drop it where I want it. So that's this section right here. So let's go ahead and actually add in a testimonial. All right, cool. Let's update this page and let's just see what that looks like. Now you could grab, uh, if you don't have pictures of the client, you could grab stock photos too, you know, of a lady or stock photo of a man. Doesn't matter too much. Same thing. You could just come in here and just type in like man and you know, find a stock photo of someone and just use that is fine. Um, okay, cool. Uh, next up, we've got this section here. So we've got some icons. Again, we don't have to use all these sections or we can move them around if you want, but uh, let's just say we did want to use it and I'll show you how we would edit that. So there are blocks right here and there's all these different icons that you can choose from. Uh, so you can see them all in here. So let's say we wanted this to say service. Or if there's like a gear icon. So you can just basically go through here and look and see what icon is gonna work best. Okay, I found this wrench. This is a perfect icon example. I'm gonna say flexible booking for this one. Okay, so I filled that out. We're gonna update that and we're just gonna take a look and see what it looks like. Boom, there we go. So we've got a repair section, booking, phone, uh, supply section. Nice, so that looks great. Um, so there's a few more sections down here that we can go through. I'm probably gonna get rid of some of them because I really just don't need them all. Um, so I'll get rid of this one here. All right, so let's update that. So I just added in a bit about financing. Let's refresh that. There we go, need financing. Um, and then I'm gonna get rid of this part as well. Okay, cool. So we are done. Obviously we're gonna to need to put in blog posts. Let's refresh and take a look at the completed version of the site. Also we can add in a menu, we can add in you know, an about us page, contact page, but I just wanted to show you the basics of how quickly it is to get a lead generation site up. So if you've been procrastinating building a lead generation site or even building a site for yourself, this is how quickly you can get it done, guys. This is not hard to do. Uh, if you find a good theme like this one, which I'll leave a link below in the description, you can get this done fairly quickly and easily. So uh, that's it, guys. Paul James here signing off on another video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And comment below letting me know what kind of site you're going to implement this on. I want to hear how you're taking action. All right, guys. Peace out. Take care. Thank you.